know that Olivia Rodrigo song where she's like, I want to meet your mom just to tell her your son sucks? I did that once. <laughs> I had a boyfriend when I was younger, like high school, and he was a little bit older than me. He used to cheat on me like it was his full-time job. I discovered messages between him and other girls of him being like, I wish I was single, you know, send me pictures. His Snapchat best friends were like all other girls and not me. I remember one time I found messages on his Facebook where he literally like messaged a girl being like, you're really pretty, do you want to go out sometime? And then when I confronted him, he was like, oh, that wasn't me, that was my friend on my phone. And I believed it. But after like three and a half, nearly four years of that, it was pretty toxic and we called it quits. Absolutely adore this man's mum. I was in town and I was like, oh, I'll pop in and see mum, his mum. She loves her kids. She is a wonderful woman who just loves her kids to a fault. He is the only boy and he is the youngest. She's a feminist. She's really cool. She just loves her son a lot. I get it. So did I. Anyway, we were chatting and she always kept a candle bright for me. And so she was like, you know, I just love to see you and in, insert name get back together. I really miss you. And I go, actually, mum, he cheated on me the entire time we were together. He could not keep his in his pants and like I just I will never get back with that man for as long as I live if I had self-respect as a woman I could not possibly get back with that man she started crying she was so sure she she's like no he wouldn't do that like denial denial the poor woman I threw a bomb on her anyway it's been 10 years now and she still talks about it I actually heard from one of their family members who messaged me we still kept up and they were like, yeah, last Christmas mum brought it up. I just can't believe that son would ever do that. You know, I, it was probably because he was having a really traumatic time with like the football club and things and he just, he wasn't thinking straight. He would never do that. Poor Bella. Like, you know, that just, I just can, oh, it's been 10 years, the poor lady. I really ruined her life. But me and him actually caught up a few years ago and we got really drunk together and sat down and literally nutted out everything because i did some mean things to him too like i'm at fault but we nutted it all out I actually got broken up with on my birthday by my last boyfriend and he my ex-boyfriend stepped in and took me out for dinner for my birthday because i had no friends in sydney um would i do it again absolutely that's actually really sweet so it turns out obviously this is 10 years ago that's really nice of him the fact that they the fact that she keeps still keeps in touch with his family and the fact that he like took her out for dinner when she didn't have anyone to go with. That's quite nice. It's nice that they can sort of have that like friendship almost, that relationship, despite all the bad things that he did to her. And obviously I actually love the fact that she's come onto the camera and admitted that she also did some bad things as well. There is nothing really worse when I feel like this happens a lot in relationships. No one really takes accountability for what they've done as well. They'll bad mouth the other person. So it's quite refreshing, I think, to see her talk about the fact that not only did he do really bad things, but she also did some bad things. Because no one's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Um, but no, she really broke his mum's heart, didn't she? The fact that 10 years on, it's still coming up in conversation. Still on her mind. I mean, I don't really know about the whole justifying it thing. I guess as a mum, unless you're in that perspective and you've got a son and you find out they've done something like that, I feel like you can't really speak on it too much. I don't really know how it feels, but I, I guess when you see your child as like this angel person, like could never do nothing wrong, I guess to hear something like that would be pretty tough. Do you think she did the right thing by by telling his mum? Personally, I I think she did, definitely. I don't know. Let let us know what you think in the comments.